her big blue pocketbook over her arm. She tells me to hurry or we'll miss the bus. I get my big green pocketbook that's just like Mama's, only mine is empty. I can't think of anything to put in it. Mama says hurry. We wait for the bus at the end of our driveway. Cars pop up over the hill. They look like pickup ducks at the fair. Mama stands ready to flag the bus, but I see it first. I wave my big green pocketbook. A hot cloud comes out of the bus. I hold my breath as we climb on. Mama lets me drop the money into the box. The bus driver gives us some punch tickets. I put them in my pocketbook. That's a great pocketbook, he says when he leans over to close the door. His leather seat creaks. We go to the bank. The cool marble walls smell like pennies. My, what a big purse, says the bank tiller. She stamps my mother's papers. Kerchink, kerchink. Then she hands me two lollipops, yellow and purple. One for now and one for later. I put the purple one in my pocketbook. Next we go to the insurance office. There's an umbrella painted on the door. Mama fills out some forms. The secretary lets me sit at her typewriter. I type my name first in big letters, then in little letters. Mama wants to go to the jewelry store. I stare at the rings in the glass cases. The stones are all the colors of the rainbow. A pocketbook that big, the jeweler man says, must belong to someone important. The jeweler man gives me a keychain. I don't have any keys, but it clinks when I put it into my pocketbook. We go to the dry cleaners. The machine with the shirts and dresses in plastic bags winds around and around. I would like to ride on it. Like magic, it stops at Mama's suit. The dry cleaner lady taps my pocketbook. What a pretty shade of green, she says, and she gives me a tiny calendar. The inside of the five and ten store is dim. My shoes clump on the wooden floor. Mama buys some flowered material and a pack of sewing needles. Then we look for a present for Daddy. We get a sack of gumdrops shaped like orange slices. The candy lady says, Fine day for you ladies to be out and about. That makes me giggle. She called us ladies. My pocketbook is starting to get full. Our last stop is the drugstore. Mama buys a hot water bottle. She gives me money to buy a new box of crayons. We have ice cream at the soda counter. A scoop of ice cream, they're square, and they come in a chilled silver dish. I click my spoon against my teeth and twirl on the stool. The bus driver picks us up in front of the drugstore. I show the driver all the things in my pocketbook. On the ride home, I'm feeling sleepy. Wake up, Mama says in a faraway voice. We're here. I help her gather up her packages and we climb them off. The door hisses shut. Then the bus is gone in a cloud of brown smoke. After lunch, I want to color with my new crayons. But I can't find my green pocketbook. Oh, you must have left it on the bus, Mama says. Oh, my pocketbook is gone. Mama says, don't worry, you can have my straw purse. But I don't want her straw purse. I want my big green pocketbook. My whole morning is in that green pocketbook, and now it's lost. hear the bus going down the road, back to the bus station. I run down our driveway. The red flag is up on our mailbox. And there inside is my big green pocketbook. The bus driver toots his horn at me. 
that night I make two drawings with my crayons. One is for Mama and the other is for the bus driver. <laughs>